So here's something exciting. It's a, it's a box that I wasn't expecting from a company called Doogee. 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 Doogie number Doogie. Doogie S8. We want to talk about a new phone called Doogie X70. So what is Doogie? You say it a few times. It's very entertaining, rewarding. Doogie S90. Expand more possibility. You see how enticing that is? I really don't know much about this phone. Like I said, I did not order it. It just showed up at the door. Let's crack this open and see what we've got. So first things first, little envelope here. It's a puzzle. Let me open this up real quick. Ah, oh, there was something on the other side. Not what I expected to be doing right now. Okay. I mean, it's just another picture. A little uh, anticlimactic. Let's find out for ourselves. Enough with the fun and games and puzzles and look at that. Okay, cool. It's a tank. It's another one of these beast machines. It's solid. And this is the magical part right here. This is apparently how this thing is going to interface with these various accessories. Check out the front. What is it telling us? IP68, wireless charging, SIM card tray. Volume up and down, power, go on. Custom key, I like that. And look, it's identified with some texture as well. That's your SIM, your SIM card tray. You don't need a tool for it. 6.18 inch screen, Helio P60 octa-core processor. You can see the camera units, assuming that they're both fully functioning. Okay, so a 5,050 milliamp hour battery, but that brings me to our very first accessory, this unit right here. Now this apparently clips onto the back of this device and it will give you another 5,000 milliamp hours. I don't know if Jack can see that. Also USB type C to recharge this. So that's a nice little touch. Let's see how this goes. Whoa, okay, whoo. That's a statement that's aggressive, but it's 10,000 milliamp hours now. So you're just, you're living life. What do the youngsters say? Living your best life. I'm living my best life right now. Living my best life right now. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like in a pocket. Oh, that's a little something, isn't it, Jack? Is that a little something for you? Is that a little something for you in there. Who's carrying that? I don't know. You gotta be a park ranger. That's it. That's the only guy. Life of a park ranger is something I feel like, you know, more people should consider. It's probably a really peaceful, like a kind of, Will could do it. Will could do it. I can't remember for sure just what it was that made me decide to become a forester. I'm sure park rangers do a lot more than pick up trash, you know? Hey, it's dry season. Be careful with that fire that you're building. Keep in mind, this thing still has wireless charging and they've included a wireless charger. Here, this is where things really kick off. I mean, look at that first off. That's giving Jack some uh, reminders of Space Odyssey right there. That's how. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Will's telling me this is night vision. Will, are you gonna stand by that? That this is gonna give me night vision? Legitimate, amazing, military grade night vision. Also in the package, this little guy with this that attaches to it. Look at this setup. Now this is a setup that's gonna work for Kirk usually. He could pull this off right here. You've now turned your device also into a walkie talkie. Okay, let's check out this night vision thing. Is this real? Is Will lying to us again? Maybe we should give him some more specs while this is going on. Six gigabytes of RAM. Jack's foot's on the table. So you boot it up and the first thing it does is ask you to assign the custom key. One click could take a screenshot, open a flashlight, start a sound recording, open SOS. Don't make me say it, Kirk. Park Ranger, baby. And then you can set up other functionality for a double click as well as a long press. Oh, that's interesting. Chrome blacks out the notch. This is kind of my favorite notch implementation. Oh yeah, you can see it in YouTube. So there you go. Oh, very satisfying, okay. Night vision, I think we gotta go pitch black, right? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty legit night vision. All right, so you can kind of see what it's doing here. It's boosting up the image substantially. It's actually kind of reminiscent of the night mode features for still images that you see on some other devices. But as I move around here, like this is, we're in pitch black zone. It's very dark up here, but not so much when you're using this night vision. Where's Otis? Otis. 
not pitch black. Obviously that works and works surprisingly well. It's a gigantic attachment though. Walking around with that deal for a little night mode. Now what happens if we load up the walkie talkie? Oh, okay. This is looking a little more beta, beta mode right now, but this at least gives you an idea of what this can look like. You have this giant button here in order to speak and then hear back. Of course, you would need two of these to demonstrate this. Also, I'm told that this is not ready to go. That's a beta, beta mode scenario. An area that I'm kind of interested in on a device like this is the sound quality because it is such a big unit. <laughs> Eh, it's all right. I mean, it's not really exceptional for a phone that weighs as much as a brick. Look, that's not really what we're here for. We're here because this thing is crazy, wild, and cool, and it has modular accessories, and it just goes to show you that there is no end to the potential of the smartphone. A walkie-talkie, a night vision camera, or even bigger than it already is. We just haven't seen a lot of modular devices popping up. Of course, it was all the rage, all the talk at one time. My understanding was that that didn't really take off. People weren't super into it, but Doji doesn't want to give up the idea just yet. They went rugged with it. Maybe the rugged buyers are the ones who are willing to live modular. It's his job of protecting and managing this forest so that it will always give so much to so many.